Today, I want to talk to you about outdoor electrical panels, and I'm talking about your main electrical panel being outdoors. Have you ever been to a home where the electrical panel's on the front porch or on the side of the house or something like that, and you're like, you know, is that something that they used to do? Is that still street legal? Can we still do that? Let's talk about it today. So you still can put your electrical panel outside, your main electrical panel, but there's some things that you have to watch out for. You have to follow all of the normal panel rules for workspace, for um, the uh, height requirement of 6.7 on the overcurrent devices. The overcurrent devices have to be in a readily accept accessible location. But the main thing that you're going to want to watch out for is that the panel is rated for that location. So it's going to have to be rated for outdoors. And what they're going to do is they're going to design the panel so moisture doesn't get in um, and degrade it. And also they're going to have it so the panel covers are dried in, right? So when rain falls on it, it's not going to fall inside the panel and rot it out. Because if you were to put a regular indoor panel outdoors, it would rot out very quickly if it didn't short out altogether. So some other things that you're going to want to watch out for or, you know, should I do a new home and put the panel outside? Well, you know, that's up to you and your designer and your electrician, but there are a couple drawbacks there, and I want to talk about them. Legally, you could still put your main electrical panel outside, but likely if you're building a new home, you're going to have arc fault and ground fault breakers. So that meant every time that a breaker trips because of an arc or a ground fault or just a regular overcurrent, you're going to have to go outside and reset that breaker. There's some dangers associated there, right? You're fully, you know, you could be potentially grounded outside. You could be subject to the weather outside. So there's so many factors and dangers that come with having the panel outside. But with that being said, you could still do it today. Well, what about a panel change? You might ask, if I'm doing a panel change and my panel is currently outside, should I bring it inside? Well, that's going to depend on your scenario. If it's been out there, you can leave it out there. It would still be legal. If you would like to bring it inside, just make sure that you're not bringing it into a bathroom or a kitchen and that you're following all of the other things that go along with you know, a panel. All of the same rules still apply on a panel change. The other thing that you want to watch out for if you are moving it inside is that if you expect extend any wire greater than six feet, you have to arc fault protect that wire and ground fault protect that wire if it's in an area that is required to be arc or ground fault protected. So with that being said, you're going to have to be very careful and you got to look at the ground fault section there. But if you do more than six feet, you're going to have to definitely arc fault it. So it's just one of those things that you could turn a you know $1,500 panel change into a $2,500 panel change just by wanting to move the panel inside. And it may cost so much more than that depending on how much work the electrician has to do if you can literally turn it around it might add only two to five hundred dollars to the project but if you have to turn it around move it and do arc fault and ground fault you could turn a fifteen hundred dollar outdoor panel change into a four thousand dollar project so that's just something i hope i give you guys a little bit of insight on the outdoor panel it is still street legal but it may or may not be practical for you on a new construction installation and or on a panel change situation let's get to it